What's up guys? And of course always, welcome back to another of course Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Scarender. And yeah, today we're going up against a guy named Yui Fountain. And I uh, hope that my OU team this time will be more suitable. Highly unlikely, but yeah, that's that's what we're getting at. Um, really look forward to this. Uh, he's also a YouTuber, so of course his um, channel is going to be linked down below. And uh, yeah, just really looking forward to this and uh, see what type of OU team we are going up against. This looks better. This looks better. Um, Kurtana is really scary, isn't it? Uh, Jolteon is fair. Um, really look, I'm really happy to see that we don't have to deal with a Lando. Uh, but all in all, this team looks to be very tough. Uh, gonna take a picture of the team, of course. I know some people are just using the screen. I am not. And... Uh, Straight on at it, I would say that uh, depending on... I mean, he's clearly very, very speedy. Um, Excredil does kind of deal with the majority of his team fairly all right. Um, Fundy after a bulk up can be very interesting to see if it actually tackles everything and probably sweep. The only Pokemon I think that could be annoying is uh, the Naka Pokemon who could be outspeeding. Uh, but yeah, I think my safest lead here is actually to lead with my Staka Kaka, Kaka Baba, Kibri Juba, I can never, I, I will eventually learn that name. But that's probably my safest lead with, um, since nothing necessarily hit it super effectively. Uh, or the Pokemon that will is Kurtana, which I highly unlikely see his, as his possible lead. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's actually see what he decides to do. Uh, it's clearly not a Trick Room team, which I think is good. Um, and since I'm a Salt Vest, I have a few niches. Uh, so I think I have a strong lead in this. Um, he goes for his same. But it's golden. Uh, so straight on at it. Um, I mean, do I want to gamble on this? I got earthquakes. I, I can do damage, but so could he. Let's find out. I mean, that's that's a gamble go to take. He has stealth rocks. All right, so it's a defensive variant. Uh, so I guess they're right. Uh, earthquake here should will him down. I don't know whether or not it should KO. Uh, is it sashed? Yeah. Yes. It is the sashed though. Um. Or was that lift doors? I, I totally missed out and I couldn't be. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna bring my Helios. The uh, main reason is here because he can't necessarily do anything to it. I am floating, so I guess Rock or Stone Edge is his strongest move overall. But yeah, he shouldn't be able to hurt me all that much. As he goes for an Earthquake, we are clearly floating. And um, I think his strongest play here is either to go to uh, his lift doors. I'm just missing out on that KO. Um, the thing is here, Stone Edge is the one that does most amount of damage towards me. And uh, I could, because I do want those rocks out of the way. So with that in mind, I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp. I don't feel Jolteon is going to come in. Um, it is a risk. Uh, he does stay in, so that's good. So at least Stone Edge won't do too much towards me, but that's his move. I don't know if this Pokemon learns Explosion. Um, Alright, he goes for Iron Head. So I'm getting the feeling he can't hurt me. So that's good, that's good, because that means we also get rid of the rocks. Uh, and they are not going to stay. Um, I can go for Hydro Pump and finish him off eventually. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Like I said, the animations here and the turns really goes a lot faster than the Sun and Moon. Um, so we go for a fair defog here. Damn, this is going to be useful. Um, and he's gonna go for what? Self rocks. Alright, so he is in that area where he's going to try to do that play over and over again. Um, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Really wish I had knockoff here. Um, I can see if he just keeps going at it. Uh, I mean, what can I do, right? Yeah, right, he's decided. That's the right play. Damn, I should have started with that, shouldn't I? 
I guess my best idea here is to not lead way so he can bring Cortana in. That would be the most important part here. Cortana cannot be lead way to come in. So uh, we're gonna finish him off with a wall switch and um, it does kind of sting a bit that I have to do so. Um, but clearly the rocks are here to stay in the first round. My switch in here should be... Trying to see which Pokemon makes the most sense. Hmm. I think Xrill kind of kind of opens up a little bit. Let's go with that. Um. Force not resistant to rocks is always nice, but overall it just makes sense to bring it in. Um, I'm gonna showcase a mold breaker, which I, which probably isn't the best thing. Uh, I guess his best play is going to be to bring Celestila. And if so, I'm gonna go for rocks on my own. Actually, goes Cortana. I think that's okay. I don't think Cortana. Will kill us with a sacred sword. Goes for knockoff actually, uh, and that does a fair chunk. I give you that. Uh, it's life for on its own, so that's quite right. Earthquake shouldn't kill, but should bring him down. Uh, Fifty percent, I guess that's quite right. That knockoff is gonna be annoying, that's for sure. Um, can I preserve this Pokemon? Do I need to preserve it? I mean, now it's a leaf blade o'clock, I know that, that's for sure. Nope, I'm gonna fall here. I'm gonna fall. No reason. Um, keeps going for knockoff, so... I guess that's the play. At least we know it isn't Scarf, so that's a good thing. Uh, Beast Boost gonna give him attack, if so. Yeah. I'm not gonna bring my Sylvie, my Naganado, I do believe it's called, stuff like that. And uh, I actually think a Dragon Pulse is in range to KO, so I don't need to go for the obvious move, which is going to be Heat Wave or Flamethrower. So we go for that, I think it's gonna sack the Cortana. Um, it's either that to bring Celestila, but Celestila is not a check to this Pokemon, I can nasty plot against it. Depending on the set, of course. But it does decide to stay in Dragon Pulse is going to KO. I mean, it's Cortana. It's not a specially defensive monster or anything like that. It's going to fall. Um, so I'm going to get my Beast Boost. And I'm going to get, I do believe, the Speed Up. And that's going to be annoying for him. So Celestia is his choice. And yeah, that's the thing though. He wouldn't have brought it if it wasn't a possible check here. It's too early to take that gamble. I can bring Hilios. You're just gonna see if he has the Earthquake. If he has that, fair enough. Um, I, at least I get the chance to defog, which is going to be great. Um, Air Slash. Alright, so it's specially orientated. That did some damage, though. That did some damage. Now, Jolting is definitely a switch in here. Um, that's for sure. Um, is there a dad who has uh, Giga Drain? The Giga Drain also kind of makes sense. Um, but I'm just glad I get that out of the way. Giga Rain could very well KO actually. Um, could, but didn't. So that's cool. Hmm. I like that it's special. I think we take it on better. I think Volt Switch here is going to be very baity, but yeah, he did decide to stay in. Very surprising. 
That has to be Assault Vest. Or is it just that bulky? Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna bring Gaith R. You get right, and that shouldn't do anything. I'm gonna go for a bulk up. Because I am defiant fundy. I really, really just wanna test that area out. Just have I found it sounded fun. I do believe the majority of his team just outspeed me. So that's not gonna be a cool thing at all. Um, the thing is here, I don't know. If it brings Jolteon, I have a hard time believing that Pokemon will be able to KO. Um, I can go for a very, very easy fly on C if it decides to stay in here. Um, which I don't believe. No, it's switching out. Please bring something I can stop. Brings full. That's cool. How dumb does the bulk up look? I don't know. Um, I have to take a choice here. Clearly Thunderbolt. No, it's... Ah, cool. It's Flame Orb. So, it's the speedier variant. Possibly modest. That's cool. I really like that. Just gonna look at the team again. Um, with that in mind... With that in mind, I'm gonna ring Iron Wall again. Um, I find it very unlikely he would had. Um, he's definitely gonna hit on power ice or thunderbolt. Um, goes for thunderbolt. Says we're assault vest. We're gonna eat that up. Maybe not as good as I was hoping, but we did eat it up. Um, now his primary switch in here should be the silly still again. As we know, it's already a special defensive. Actually, I want to go for gyro ball. Oh, stone edge. Get the damage. He's not gonna stay in. He's gonna for a Volt Switch possibly, but he's definitely not gonna stay in. Goes actually switches hard out to back to Celestia. Please connect this Stone Edge. Please stack attack our Iron Wall. Yes. That does damage. That does damage. That stings. Hmm. But I have use of this Pokemon still. I really have use of this Pokemon still. Uh, so Giga Drain just makes sense here to go for. Um, ooh, what do I want to do? I mean... Yeah, I'm I'm forced to go back to Gaithar. I really don't have an option here. Um, oh shit, I really don't want to like to do this. And this time I have to attack, actually. Uh, Giga Drain is the choice of moves here, that's fair. It doesn't do too much though, it really doesn't. I need to strike him down here. I really do. Um, right, he's just saying this is gonna KO. Um, so Celeste lets out of the way. I do believe that's a big, big opening. Um, definitely making. Uh, ooh, what do you call it? Uh, it does make one Pokemon a lot more viable towards this. But we're gonna see one Pokemon I don't want to deal with, and that is the Sand Rock, whose Accelerog might very well KO. Um, and that's not good. Actually, brings four again. I don't want to switch around against these Pokemon all too much. I really don't. Flame Rub does hinder me quite a lot for actually doing some decent wave around. Um, yeah, I still need to do the same switch. I do not like to do this switch. I do believe this is very, very, very obvious. But it's my best choice. It's the only mod that soaks hits. Yeah, and Thunderbolt is his strongest player. There's no way of going around it. Um, but now I'm free to go for Earthquake. All his Pokemon is grounded or left. So his best play would be to sack this Jolteon, and that could bring doom. It could also mean that his uh, his own Poison Dragon, the Nagadale, or whatever it's called, could uh, get the opening he was waiting for. And that's not good. 
I mean, if that Pokemon gets a speed boost, we are dealing with stuff. Um, I could very well, though, take, um, what do you call it? Um, a Fire Blast from that Pokemon. But we are not looking stellar. Or, you know, worst case scenario, he brings the Lycan Rock. Or the Sand Rock. No, he brings the Naganite Ale. And it's shiny! Alright. It is time. Oh, I really can't gamble. I gotta go from the quick here, hoping I can take a fire blast. Flamethrower, that's come on. That's less damage. <laughs> Iron wall Bitch <laughs> Yes! That's incredible. That's incredible, that's awesome. Staka Tata non the Tatas I'm gonna call him in the future is actually working. That is um, that is the opening we were looking for. Ooh, that's cool. Like my first win in OU since like start of Gen Six, like before Pokebank and stuff like that. This is um, this is magical. Um, at this point, though, like I'm, I still haven't won. I don't know why I'm reacting like this, but I'm, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good here. Uh, so he's gonna go for a safe crunch. Um, Will we see Life Orb? No. The game is clearly not over. I don't know what the fuss is all about. We're gonna go to our own Naganadel. I really hope I'm saying that right. Um, for a possible KO, we are at least outspeeding, but we won't be able to do super effective damage. I am looking for a possible drill run. Um, but Dragon Balls could very well be in range. Ooh, Dad! Just up there. And it's not with priority, which I feel is very, very, very surprising. But yeah, we did almost get that KO. So we're gonna go to the very safe play, which is Daos, the Necrozma, and we are just gonna go for the Photon Geisha and wrap up the game. Um, I am feeling really good about this. I've been having such a bad luck in OU. You know, if we get the crit here, you know, things starts off again. Nope, he's not even gonna get there. And there we go. Um, and of course, GD to Joey here, my opponent, which really, really did do some really cool stuff here. A very, uh, like, bring a Lycan Rock to an OU match. That is definitely, in my honest opinion, if you do something like that, you, d you deserve all the props you can get. So, for what it's worth, Joey, very, very good of you to actually bring something like that. Definitely appreciate it. It brings some unique part to Wi-Fi Bell. I mean, if I win this one, I'd still appreciate the matchup we were going up against. And, you know, we got a few predictions right. Bring the scene Jolteon definitely was scary. It's a Pokemon that I think can do extremely well. So, I think the team was cool. I appreciate it quite a lot. Um, so, you guys are watching. Thank you for doing it, of course. As always, that that's cool. First win in OU in like forever, and I am feeling this. I don't know what that means. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you, of course, as always, for watching. I hope this was entertaining for you. And if it wasn't, you know, well, that's not my fault, that's yours fault. That's how comedy works. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you for clearly watching. <laughs> Have a great day. Uh, bye, guys. Stellar, stellar outro.